Sorry guys. Um, anyway, welcome back. I decided I won't do two episodes today. It's getting very interesting. I took a, a little small break. Today I'm not chewing like any sort of gum. You guys wouldn't pick up any gum chewing. Um, <clears throat> my mic settings not super freaking high, so it's not very sensitive. So randomly in the beginning of videos, the ending of videos, you'll hear like <laughs> anything like that. Um. And, um, make sure I have some water so my mouth's not very cotton. Cotton mouth, is that what you call it? Because in the last part, guys, something happened to Oppo. I think Oppo finally got his first girlfriend. Even though it might not be his first choice, it's probably his last choice. Bushin, the apple-headed girl. Anyways, do you girls understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, truly sorry. Oh, that volume's too loud for me. <laughs> oh, Oppo came in. Just wait a minute. Guess he doesn't want the girls to be exposed. I'll take the punishment instead of them. Oppo's voice erupted as he leapt into the What are you talking about? Why are you? We've already been on the verge of expulsion. We're not afraid of anything. Please punish us and no, no, no! Punish Oppo. Loves punishment. And please forgive them. Oppo, Jabanji kun Jamani kun Ushin called Oppo by his name. I think this is the first time. Wait, she remembered. The principal beamed as she looked at us. There wasn't a trace of tension in the air. Why did this feel too peaceful to me? I see. Then, if you insist, I'll have you boys pay the penalty instead. She told us that without hesitation. Really? Are we gonna get kicked out? Are we getting kicked out? What? Huh. Actually, I could have ended it right there. What? Cleaning toilets? That's it? You gotta- actually, you know what? Some people, you know, some people are so lazy, they would rather take expulsion than cleaning a restroom. Like, if I were to be cleaning a restroom, I would probably take an expulsion, but expulsion's like... I don't look too far ahead of expulsion, like, you can't really get into certain schools, blah blah blah. But this is something easy, but you don't want to do it at the moment see it at the moment and not what's ahead of it so you, this is a better option in the long run instead of taking the expulsion we gotta hut of ourselves this time but this isn't a bit too different from our case why is she so lenient with them stop talking you guys let's just get it over with ah uh, this pisses me off this pisses me off so much. I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> uh, he locked himself in one of the stalls. Better clean that one yourself afterwards. <laughs> oppo, oppo, oppo. Too funny. Shit. Why are we doing this for them? Shit. It smells nasty in here too. Isn't cleaning the toilets a bit too old-fashioned of a punishment? They should just be... Wait, they should... Should have just kicking those two out? I'm hungry. It's getting late. Let's go for dinner. We could, uh, see the sun starting to glow orange as it's set. I wonder if the girls really appreciate us. Shouldn't they have thanked us? Uh, sh shouldn't they be thanking us now? I think Fushin's falling in love with you. It's it's very funny. It's very funny. It should be helping us. Or even just waiting for us to finish to say thank you. Nice. Don't expect too much from them. You'll just get more depressed later. Don't be such a cynic, Daigo. I don't expect much from a dream. He's quite a pessimist. Fortunately, he's also most 
uh, right most of the time. Oh, you're right. It's not like we expected anything out of it when we offered. Are you an idiot? Of course I was expecting something. Uh, who the hell would do this out of good alone? Well alone, okay. What? Were you? I was trying to get the uh, some attention from other girls too. Why you little? Well, I have to admit that I was thinking the same thing. Me too. You guys. Of course, shit. They should show us some consideration and bring us some. Panties. Actually, it's kind of gross. What if it like period stains on her like feet or boobs? It has kind of gross, dude. Anyways, I'm at. They have like some sort of like underwear fetish, uh, especially this Oppo one right here. I thought you've already been punished for that. You still want their panties after that? Just ignore them. Let's hurry back. I want to take a shower. Just as we picked up our pace to get back, we saw a few girls up ahead. Man, they're annoying. Girls waved at us. Hey. What are you girls doing? Are you guys done with cleaning? Why, well, yes we are. Were you all worried about us? It wasn't just us. They waved at someone behind them. <laughs> Not those two. Two girls stepped over on uh, towards us. They seemed too ashamed to even look at us. Right. Promise you told them. Go for it. I know. Fushin was finally convinced by Haruka. She stared at Oppo and opened her mouth. You, come with me. Huh? Are you ordering me? No, she's not. She's asking you out. What do you mean ask me out? Why do I have to? Just shut up and come with me. Hey. Fushi yanked Apo off by the arm. She was serious about the pull. Serious. She was serious about pulling him away. What's going on? We should all go. I'll show you guys something interesting. All of us? Just come with us. Erika pushed us back to our... Wait, pushed us by our backs. Mizuki led us on the way. Close my phone. Okay, it's right here. Uh, what's going on? I don't know. Let's just follow them. But yeah, I gotta keep track of time. Oppo and Fushid made their way to the island's edge. It was a little high, a little higher area than the rest. Just a gentle slope. Where are they? Behind that hill. What's over there? They'll find out. Oh, is it the flowers? Uh, they just smiled at us and stayed silent. Were we going to have to go over there and see it for ourselves? That's a sunset. That's a perfect picture moment. One to take for the thumbnail. I like this song. I feel like I heard it before. Even though it's probably not. Wow. It's probably custom made just for this. Vigia game. Uh, I lost my breath when I saw the view. Wow. What a sunset. The vivid orange light of the sunset melted and sank into the ocean. There were several people watching it. Kazushi! Rin was one of them. She waved at me. They removed the band on boys visiting this area so you could see the view today. We knew you'd have to see this. You're right. I couldn't even understand what she was saying. I couldn't think of anything but this view. Isn't this great? Whenever the weather's nice, you can see the sunset. This sunset. Especially beautiful from the summer into fall. When it's a clear evening, we all come here to watch. This is the 
best place on the whole island to see the sunset. I see. I never knew. I'm sorry you couldn't tell you boys earlier. Some of the girls were against it. But even Kazushu, Kazu and them were okay with it. Are okay with it. We saw Fushin and Oppo standing off to the side by themselves. They were standing very close to one another. Ooh, their distance from each other seemed like, uh, wait, seemed like was impressing their intimacy. It was close enough to make one's heart race. They might even have been holding each other's hands. I doubt it. The sunset was too romantic. It made me think so. Isn't it beautiful? I can't imagine a better surprise. The view really touched my heart. The entire sky was painted orange. Peri, Dango, uh, shit. Peri, Dango, Haru, what's that? Haru, Haruka? Mizuki, Apo, Fushin, and probably even me all had an orange glow about them. The calm surface of the water soaked in, in the fading sunset and shone bright in the field full of countless glittering jewels one could take their eyes off the majestic splendor that majestic splendor everyone faced the same sunset with their own feelings and in their own ways like a field of sunflowers in awe of this view this is my most favorite view on the island i've looked at this since i was a little it brings back so a lot of memories oh yeah haruka Certainly mine. We don't need words to express ourselves while watching this. I think this will become my favorite too. Maybe it already is. As. This is an odd but warming feeling. It's like everyone's heart has connected right at this moment. And a certainty that everyone else feels the same as well. Maybe it's just my imagination, but that's how it felt. Does it touch your heart too, Ran? <laughs> Even I'm a girl who understands the beauty of simple things. Every day, I wish those sparkles were all real jewels. That is so you. That is so her. But it really does look like the ocean's full with jewels, though. But if that was true, they'd all get taken away and there would be no water left in the sea. Yeah, humanity is greedy in... Wait. Manny's greed is endless. Seriously. People. Ha. I don't think you should be laminating that. <laughs> sniff. Uh, I heard someone sniffing. Sparkling tear. Wait, sparkling tears were flowing from Dongo's eyes and nose. Why are you crying? Look at this guy. He's actually crying. No point in left. Dongo, are you okay? Deep down inside, Dango's actually a sentimentalist. So beautiful. You don't have to cry here. You can borrow my handkerchief. Thank you. Dango blew his nose through her handkerchief. The sound of it killed the mood. Oh, on second thought, keep it. So beautiful. Stop crying, Dango. You're making me cry too. I don't know why, but this awe-inspiring view brings me to shed manly tears. Sniff. Wow, are you crying too, Kazushi? You guys are such girls. I like that about you, though. I never knew boys could be so romantic. It makes me want to cry too. So beautiful. Beauty of nature. I kept watching the sunset until it completely disappeared below the horizon. For the first time, I felt like I had become a true resident of this island. Okay, that was that was nice. That was nice. That was very nice. Hmm. I don't know why, but I suddenly stopped walking. But then again, I wasn't sure if I was really walking in the first place. Wait a minute. Where am I going? Right. First question. Why am I even here? As I continued walking, I figured out I didn't know where I was headed. Damn it, I'm really out of it. I looked around once more. Hmm. 
That's Natsumi-chan. Is that the weird girl we yeah we smashed heads with? Uh, Natsumi-chan slowly turned towards me when I called her. Her movements were almost mechanical, like a doll. She would be as cute as a doll if she didn't speak. Yeah, isn't she like a dick? Uh, even though she saw me, Natsumi-chan didn't say anything, as usual. What are you doing here all by yourself? She's always alone. I'm worried whether or not she really has any friends. Didn't she say I had a hundred friends? You gotta not trust her about that. I can't leave her on her own. It's you again. Why do you keep coming here, Haruma? Is it choice or... I could tell that she was really trying to decipher something about me. She looked into my eyes. It made me uncomfortable. What can I say? It's a small island and we both live here. I'm pretty sure that we're bound to run into each other every now and then, right? Boring. Chatting with you is boring. Well, I wasn't trying to be entertaining. I see. Seemed like she didn't care much and started walking away. Where are you do going? Why are you following me? It's best not to bother with me. Don't say that. If you keep the attitude... If you keep up the attitude where you're trying to keep people away, one day there won't be anyone left around you. Oh, she took out the heart. I didn't know if what I said meant anything to her, but it definitely made her stop walking. Huh? Natsumi-chan? She stared at me with her back still facing me. What? She stared at me with her back still facing me. Okay. I think she's angry. I'm sorry. I think I said that in a way that upset you. I apologize. No, it's okay. You may be right. Maybe you're right. I'm surprised. Normally, she wouldn't accept anything I said. This really isn't like her. Maybe I said something I shouldn't have. Hmm. I'm really sorry about what I said. Are you mad at me? I'm not really mad, but... What? Maybe it's my fault, like you said, why Papa left me. Oh, shit. <laughs> No, she had daddy issues. Although Natsumi-chan was right in front of me, her back seemed very small and distant. For the first time, I ever heard her mention her family. I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure that I hurt Natsumi's feelings somehow. Natsumi-chan. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm alright by myself. I started walking off again, so I chased after her. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. Even if you follow me. No, I'll go with you. Do you honestly think I'll just let someone who says they're who says she's fine go off on her own without someone else beside her? I told you I'm okay. Stop being noisy. Since I'm noisy, let me ask nosy, not noisy. Nosy. Let me ask a question. Where did your papa go? Natsumi Chan? I knew it was a personal question, but I couldn't help it. Trying to find, um, help. I couldn't help trying to find out more about her. She heaved an exasperated sigh. Exasperated sigh. Really nosy. Why do you care about me so much? What do you mean, why? Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh, this is hard. These are hard choices, people. Oh, shit, did I click it? No, 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 I didn't. Okay, that's good. Save. Huh. Because I care about you, because you're my friend. Ooh, do I want to make her the first lady? I don't know, I don't know, because I felt like the common route already ended. So, um... She just mentioned her dad, so if I say I'm her friend, that means I can do something else. I might say because I care about you, like we take it in a romantic way. So, I'll see my other options, see other circumstances, because this seems like a very, uh, very drama-oriented route. So, I'll try to do, like, the funny routes first, if we can find any. Because you're my friend, Natsumi-chan. He stopped. Again. She stopped and turned around with confusion in her eyes. Did I say something wrong? Again? 
Are you my friend? How do I? Uh... At least I thought I was your friend. Was I wrong? Since when we have been friends? Oh, I hadn't really thought about when, but if I had to say, I think we were friends by the second time we met. How did we become friends? Is it because we kissed? <laughs> Not exactly. Only true couples are supposed to do that. Made me blush when I tried to think about when we kissed. Come to think of it, that was my first kiss too. That Natsumi was the one I shared it with. I see. Friends. Eh? That's right, friends. I'll introduce you to all my friends, too. I'm certain they'll take a... They'll take... Wait, they'll all take a liking to you. If I really don't have any friends I could choose to you two, don't worry about it. Though, I guess it might be a little boring since all my friends are older than you. But it wouldn't be right if you're the only one introducing people. It goes against equivalent exchange. Equivalent exchange? What's that? I don't get it. That's what Chan looked at me like I was an idiot. Actually, I wonder if picking if I was your friend. I don't know. I just feel like I just pushed her out towards her. I don't know. That's to me. Chan was looking at me like uh, I was an idiot. Was it uh, embarrassing not to know about it? That you're an idiot, Haruma. She jumped to a conclusion about me. Yeah, well, I know I'm stupid, but you don't have to tell me directly. I see. You're starting to look cute. Oh, shit. Maybe. Maybe. It's because I'm stupid. It made me feel, uh, feel pitiful when she uh, treated me like a kid. Don't treat me like a kid in front of everyone else, okay? You don't want to be treated like a kid? Did your parents treat you like a kid? Yeah, back when I was a kid. How about your parents? I was going to say something, but I remembered... But I remembered just how we had this conversation about Natsumi Chen's father. Where'd your papa go now, then? Where could that damn man be, leaving his cute daughter all alone on an island like, like this? He's on this island. Be dead? What? You mean he's not here? On the island? That was an unexpected answer. That meant there shouldn't be a, any problems, right? And you should be able to see him any time you want, right? The small island and hell, they both live here. Given how often Natsumi Chan and I bump into each other, it should be easy for those two to see each other. He wouldn't see me even if I tried to visit. What? Why? You went to go see him, right? I did, but he ran away from me. Why did he run away from you? Isn't he your father? I don't know. Maybe he just hates me. That's me. Shan started pouting. He wasn't acting like her usual aloof self. She was just an ordinary girl right now. Papa hates me. That's why he disappeared from me. That's why he won't see me. That's not true. I didn't know what kind of problems they had between them. But I had to say that. What, what do you know, Haruma? Maybe I don't, but he's your only father. There isn't a father on earth that doesn't care about his own child. Then why won't he see me? Why would he leave me? It was like we were regressing through the years because Natsumi Chan was acting like a little. I wouldn't know that either. But all I can say is that your father loves you. Actually, no, there are some people who hate their children. Seriously, I meant it. There, um, let's give your father one last chance. I'll go with you to see him this time. Going to Horuma? I'll go with you this time, and I'll make sure he doesn't run away so you can see each other. Asumi Chan thought for a moment. I thought she was scared her father might run away and never look at her again. Don't worry, believe in me. Oh no, don't tell me we started this one. Oh no. 
Well, if we did, we'll keep on going down this path. Okay, this time you're going with me to meet my father too, Haruma. Right, got it. I don't know what kind of parent this guy is, but if he's some nasty jerk, I'll give him a piece of my mind. But I can't think this guy uh, is a villain because he's not Sumi's beloved father. I really want to help them. This is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Wait. What did you guys need for me? It was lunch break, and I've been called out by a few girls. To behind the gym, no less. My heart was pounding more reasons than one. Whatever I did, I'm really sorry. I should just apologize and get it over with. Huh? Why are you apologizing? Wait, is, it, is this about uh, Oppo and Pushing? I don't know. Just in case. Apologizing just in case, you men are completely pathetic. Why are we even asking a man anyways? What do you guys need? It's a... Wait, what? It's a pretty good deal for you. If it goes well, we might even make some big bucks. No, Ren. You shouldn't be trying to profit off this. We need everyone's support. What are you guys talking about? We're here to ask you for some help, Haruchi. Need my help? I thought they called me over to beat me up or something. <laughs> when I came in, replied to their call, I saw all these women here. I was really worried that I was in trouble. Are you listening? This is important. Yes, I'm listening. How can I help you girls? Okay, it's about the big head trick. Team. What would Fushi need for me? Beats me. Now I'm even more worried. She's an I I knew it. Love, yep. Oh, with me? I almost fainted. It was just like getting a death sentence. No, no, not with you. With Oppo. Oh, with Oppo. <laughs> and the, the regular music came back. You. If I think about it, she's been crazy about him since the accident. Oppo keeps running away from her, though. I kind of suspected it, but how can I help you guys with that? It's about them, not me. I'm against. <laughs> I'm against Kazu Chen dating that ugly thing, though. Um. Came to say her name was. Uh, highly upset and seeing someone that large in a bad mood was scary. That's true, dude. She almost destroyed you trying to get you out of the fire. <laughs> H-Head doesn't like how Gazichin falling in love with a boy. You just don't want to be left alone, do you? It's not that, it's just we've always been together, so you don't want to be left alone. That's right, you two grew up together. Yeah, you look like you grew up together. They did? No wonder why they were so close. They always been together. That's pretty amazing. You grew up together and even now you're in the same all-girls school academy? What? We weren't just in... Wait, we weren't, uh, we weren't just together at school. We even had our first loves at the same time. You guys are like twins. We are. So you see, I'm not jealous. I'm just worried. Wait, what? Are they actually sisters? I think they did say they were sisters. Twins. They did say they were twins. She gave me a death stare as she made that statement. Please don't glare at me like that. What do you need me to do about it? You casually ask Oppo how he feels about... Azuka-chan? I don't think I need to ask to know. Eh, what? No, nothing. There is no way in hell Oppo is going to fall for Fushin. He's insanely picky about girls. Even if none of them are paying any... Even none of them are paying any attention, I doubt he'll go for anyone short of... Mei 
class. Azuchiku, won't you help us, Apo friend, right? Don't you want your friend to be happy? Of course I do. But I'm not sure if it really make Apo happy. If it'll really make Apo happy. Confident that those two will make a great couple. Are you sure? Sure they will. I agree with her. Those two have a familiar role. I don't know. Well, they're alike in a lot of ways. I've never... I've heard that familiar people, similar people, make the best couples. Either way, I'll just watch Gazuchin sigh all day long. Will you please find out how that apple feels about her? Alright, alright. Can't imagine Fusing sighing all day long. That tells me she's serious. I guess I'll ask Oppo how he feels about Fushin. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end it right here. In the next part, we're gonna find out if Apple likes Fushin. Bye.